Okay, I'm going to start this uh, out with uh, a quote that uh, I favor greatly. Um, this has been a very long path for me on the things that I've gone through. Okay, I've been um, a born-again Christian. I've been baptized Catholic. I've been in the Catholic religion. Um, I've been um, <clears throat> uh, into Eastern philosophy, Buddhism, and uh, never, never following any gods. But, but just listening to pure philosophy and um, wisdom. So the path, the path has been laid out before us by somebody else. There's no way for me to get all this wisdom and to form my own opinions without being able to read another man's work or another woman's work. Um, the reason I try not to, you know, I, I guess I, the, to me, I don't know what, what word I would use for, I would say, the great spirit. Um, you could put Indian connotations, but again, they have uh, gods. I don't know if they're aspects or, um, <clears throat> you know, reflections of, of the whole. But when you get into this heavy stuff, I, I have to kind of stay neutral within my sight because I, I want everybody to try to communicate together. But um, first off, I'd like to hit on the Messianic. So, yes, the, the Jews are still waiting for their Messiah. But the thing is, they've, they've had other Messiahs. So, King David was a Messiah. Moses was a Messiah. Um, Christ, the actual word Christ, and what you're dealing with is a lot of word magic. And the reason I tell you the King James Version is because you want to you wanna be careful who gives you your literature. So if, if, you know, King George is the head of all the secret societies as the, as the, you know, at the time that he commissions this particular Bible, then you have to wonder. Um, when, when they went back to the Babylonian uh, Hebrews, you know, I don't even like to word, use the word Jews, um, they were going back to Babylon, whereas the Sumerian Jews, uh, if you go back in the Old Testament, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it for you, it's been a while since I've looked, but... Uh, um, they talk about actually kidnapping people from Samaria so that they can teach them about God. So um, that's in the Old Testament. So, <clears throat> so you, you talk to me about the Messianic Jews. Well, if you look deep enough, especially if you look into World War II and uh, Hitler, you'll find that uh, Hitler at one time found a lot of Oriental um, uh, Messianic uh, Masonic um, books, like all their, he, he found a large storage of them. And uh, the Masons are at the very top Messianic. Um, it's, you know, Kabbalah is, is Jewish mysticism, but it's, it's, it's stuff that they don't teach the regular guy, the guy that's going into, you know, like a guy that goes into the Catholic Church and he's, well, I just killed somebody, and they tell him to say so many Hail Marys and these different things. The people that reach the pinnacle of these type of Kabbalistic uh, understanding and reading are, are are really, you know, they, they go through a lot of trials to get there. But, um, so anyway, you said here, so you, you put out 14.6. Jesus uh, said to him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, I also think that uh, it's it, it somewhere, I, I'm going to have to look into some older books, but it says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. But uh, if you keep reading and you go all the way down, and you know, he says like in 7, if you know me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on, know him and have seen him. Now, uh, listen carefully when you drop down to 9. I have been with you so long, and, and you know me, Philip. He has seen me, has seen the Father. So you can say, show us the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? Now he's not saying that, that he's God, first off, because a lot of people go into that. <clears throat> the words that I speak to you, I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. So he's talking about the Spirit of God with inside of him. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. So, you know, 
I used to be a Jehovah's Witness as well, and uh, they, you know they never even talk about Jesus. They have no respect. And first off, the word Jesus, okay, um, is is or if you go back into Latin, is Jesus, right, or Zeus. So it doesn't mean anything. But here's the kicker: English comes from Latin and goes back into Sanskrit. So we actually have a Hinduitic line of language coming down to us. Um, Yahshua ben Yosef means, you know, Yah saves. Yah is the salvation. So it's a, it's a title. So it, it, even if you were to say Jesus, it would be Jesus the Christ because he was anointed at the time that he was here. Now, is he the, the great messianic uh, son that they're waiting for? I can't be the judge of that. I'm not, I'm not, you know, the more you learn, the less you know, but you... In, in that journey, following that tiny little path, you find a lot of people putting their perspectives into basic writings. Okay? Um, <clears throat> where are we at here? So, the Holy Spirit, I absolutely believe in a great spirit that fills somebody's heart. And uh, if you keep, you know, like, let, let's talk about um, the Quakers. Um, and I've said this in older videos, but I've removed a lot of them. Um, I, I got these books. I, I used to work in this place where we stored uh, musical instruments, archives for all sorts of big bands and all these different famous people. And uh, w when they wouldn't pay their bills, uh, my boss would let me rummage through it and take stuff. He'd let me keep stuff. And at that time, I was into Eastern philosophy, and I saw these three books titled Meditation. So I was like, oh, awesome, you know, I'm going to learn how to meditate and all these different things. But when I opened them up to read, it, they were books from the Quakers. And it talked about the very silent, quiet voice, which you can hear about in other religions, that, that this quiet voice is always talking to you. You know, you could say it's your conscience, but I think it's, you know, you have to have a good conscience even to be on this path in the first place. This is a much deeper voice. And, you know, I've talked to this with a couple of other people that are, that are really working towards trying to separate religion completely, especially the word born again. <clears throat> you know, when they shot my arm, it was like clay break, uh, breaking, and I really, it really did change my life because I heated, you know, I, as I got shot, I had a very long conversation with God about being proper. Uh, he didn't answer me back, but he kept me alive, and the things that I talked about with him have come to pass. So I totally believe in, in the Spirit, uh, I don't know, even know if I want to put it into Trinity, because Trinity is triune and it's Egyptian. So as you start to look around at all these things around you, you'll just see that, um, like I said, theology is God mingling. So all these theologists and, and um, Bible scholars that you're dealing with understand that some of the stuff that's in that Bible is borrowed from other religions. Plagiarism, if you will. But that doesn't mean that if you go to the pre masoretic text, which we're talking, you know, you know, pre-300 A.D., something like that, you know, back quite a ways. I mean, maybe like 100 A.D., I'm not sure. You know, I'd have to get the books out again to look at the specifics. But, but we're talking about uh, the Babylonian Masoretic Text and then the Sumerian Masoretic Text. The, the Sumerians, again, like I said earlier, were kidnapped because of their knowledge. Um, and if you look at the Old Testament, you'll see that they are continually, continually... Um, loving other gods, and that uh, King Solomon had over uh, 750 concubines, which he had children with. Nobody talks about where all those children are, or where they intermingled, or who they're with now, or where they, what became of all of them. Uh, as you look at the very structure and foundation of what they're trying to give you, there's a lot of problems. Uh, I'm not trying to um, debunk anything. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody and that's why I don't really want to get into these type of videos but you asked so I'm gonna tell you. I just follow that quiet voice that's inside of me and things go right. Okay? That doesn't mean they always go right. I am heavily heavily persecuted in my life but as I roll with the punches, as I accept my problems, as I, as I really try to understand everything that is given to me, there's always a lesson. You know, some of it harsher than others. You know, death death is not pleasant. But at the same time, I see the injustice everywhere. And it doesn't have to do with one religion. It has to do with 
bad people and good people. So uh, at the heart of all religions, we're taught to respect one another. Now, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to make any crack judgments on anybody. But as far as the Messianic, uh, you can find that they are running, you know, the Great Lodge. It is, it is the Messianic Hebrews that, that run that. And you'll look at that with the uh, tall uh, cedars of Lebanon. Um, you'll find that... that uh, only you know, only Hebrews are allowed in those lodges. Kind of like the Scottish Rite only allows certain people to become thirty third degree. You can look at all this yourself. But um, you know, you know, they say a guy that goes and he learns all this wisdom that 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 the world will blow him, the system, the devil will blow him all around like the wind. But that same definition is for for wisdom or you know wisdom herself she blows around and goes wherever she wishes so the scriptures although they may seem contradicting at times talk about different subjects at a deeper level um, I was going to read you the very beginning of 14 because there's a lot of esoteric knowledge in that first paragraph but it's I, I don't want to divulge Okay, got cut off there, but it's it's not for me to to try to contradict or there's a process that's involved here. So for me to just start revealing uh, innermost secrets, which I, I've done a really big one when I talk about Venus, um, <clears throat> it's a path, you know, and it's different for everybody. So you know, like one day I learned something from you, uh, you may have a different, complete viewpoint on the whole world. So if I don't listen and, and try to really grasp what you're saying, I might lose one little thread of truth that will bring me to something else. So what I found in is when you're talking about sifting through all the garbage, it's, it's, absolute, it's absolutely the truth. Because, okay, what I, maybe about before I got shot, so I got shot maybe five years ago. So maybe around nine, eight or nine years ago, I just, I just prayed, you know, I just prayed. And I, you know, I just, I just call him Father because he's given me life. And as far as I know, at this point, you have to have the seed, you know, to to impregnate the egg. So I'm going to look at it that way. We can get into all that at another time. But to me, I've been given life. So I appreciate my Creator. So I prayed to Him for discernment, to be able to absolutely cut through everything with a knife. I asked Him to better who I was and where I was at. Uh, no matter what it took, I, 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 I demanded of him, with respect, the ability to discern, to be discernful as a gift. Now, <clears throat> that wasn't to become a preacher or a prophet or a guru. I'm just one guy on this earth. All of us have the potential, if we have the drive and the want, to go to where I'm at. Not that I'm any... There's so many other people that are much more well-read. Uh, that have different perspectives, some of them exactly opposite of mine. It's not for me to try to tell you who you are or how to think. I can warn you about what I see around us, but that's about it. I've really, in my subscriptions, if you go through there, some of them should stand out to you, and uh, you should get a glimpse of the reality of my site. The stuff that I put on my site can be proven by what I have in my subscriptions. So, um... You know, I, 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 you know, like Mahabon, I looked it up for you. Um, I found a site where it gave me the two definitions, and one of them was that it's, it's the hip bone of a dinosaur. So to me, perhaps they're saying that they've been around since the dinosaurs. I think that our civilization is much older than they let on, uh, like in Ecclesiastes where it, it, it mentions, you know, that all this stuff has been done before, and we won't call, you know, look into the past and these things. The rumors and the whispers have been there since I was a little kid. A lot of that is indoctrination by this society that's wishing to take a hold of the whole world. So when they say the, the, the beast is the system, he literally is the system. You know. So the, in, in Kabbalah, they, when they do numbers, they, there's no zero. So zero disappears and they add stuff up and it's all in the morals and dogma. And Alan Bovansky and, and tons of others. 
but um, there's no clear cut and dry answer. Do, do, I, do I love Yasho Ben Yosef? Absolutely, 100%. Um, I stick by love. I stick by uh, my actions. I don't even I don't even want to use the word works because action without without um, impurity. If you're pure within your actions, God speaks for uh, Himself through you through how you are, and that's the best I can do. So I hope this has answered some of what you were asking. Um, you know, I'm not. I don't want to. I'm not doing soft shoe or pedaling around. I don't want you to think that. But for what I'm trying to do personally within my channel, I, I want to get. You know, I talk to the the. I don't want to say the worst people because that's incorrect. But I talk to people from the exact opposite background of what you and I may come from. Um, for me, it's it's finding that neutral point to end this system, because this system is going to end. Like the last video that I just made, I see a, I see a lot of bad things happening, and that's that's part of life, you know. Um, my son asked me one day about death, and I just I had to be matter of fact about it because I don't I want them to to really embrace life as it is. And I said, you know, you plant a seed, it becomes a flower. That flower dies away, but it leaves its seeds. It is really. The quality of life that we leave for other people that is going to be important, regardless if we get to see the apocalypse or not. So when you say all these, uh, and, and that brings me to another point that you brought up, when you talk about all these things are happening in the Bible exactly as, as they're written, um, there are some dating you you got to read the book called The Secret Origins of the Bible. And it's it has nothing to do with any secrets. It's, it just teaches you how to critique literature. Um, the, the Revelation is dated by, by some of the stuff that's inside of it, which makes it about 300, 400 years older than it really, than people try to say it is. And in that, that means that the people that made the church were there when that was written. And it could be that they're following it to a T. Again, when you talk about the beast, uh, the house of Windsor, one of the one of the sons that may be king, his crest was the exact beast. Now, their forefathers put that Bible out, that King James Version Bible, and they put that whole writing out. They've hired scribes of the highest quality. But you know damn well they know how to read. For, so for them to actually make themselves that crest is bizarre. And then when you talk about the, the red dragon and you find that the crest of the Catholic Church is a red dragon, you, you, you see that these people are there in front of your face. This isn't, uh, we're not dealing with angels yet and demons yet or aliens yet. We're dealing with individuals that are on a mission. And that gets into the Jesuits and the Black Pope and uh, the oath, um, it's pretty much all there. You know, I, I <clears throat> it just takes a lot of time. I, I put a guy on on my left of my page. His name is Melchizedek. I don't know if I agree with everything that he says, but it, this guy's really taken the time to decipher language, and it's a nice little jump start to uh, the secret origins of the Bible. So I hope this answered your question, brother. Uh, much love to you, regardless of. Uh, you know where we may stand um, on opinion. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, man, and I don't know, and I'm not probably not going to know till I pass away. But I'm going to do my best till that point. Have a great day.